All right, particle travels on a straight line with a velocity of 20 minus 0.05s squared. Determine the acceleration. All right, we're given velocity. Determine, asked to find acceleration. Given velocity, asked to find acceleration. Uh, well, so first of all, that is not, this is not a constant acceleration problem. You know, if you've got some weird function for velocity, chances are your acceleration is not, is not a constant. Um, but if you're given velocity and you're asked to find acceleration without a derivative or an integral, you need to take a derivative or take an integral. Given velocity, asked to find acceleration, yeah, a derivative, a derivative. Which one? Which one? Uh, how about this one? A equals V dv ds, right? A equals V dv ds. All right, so this V is just don't overthink that V. I mean, whatever that V is, 0.05s squared, just rewrite it. Now, this derivative with respect to S, the derivative of 20 would be nothing. The derivative of this uh, would be, let's see, what, uh, we still have that negative, 0.1s. All right, and so I like to go ahead and give, give me a good equation. I like to write an equation for acceleration before I start plugging things in too early. So I'd say negative 2s plus 0 0.005s cubed. All right, so there's my acceleration. There's my equation for acceleration. And so let me answer the question. Let me find the acceleration <coughs> at a position of 15. So plug in 15, 15, negative 13.1 meters per second squared would be my acceleration. Right, so you got to know when to use which equation. 